Hello everybody, once again, this is El Mosi Dali Dazo, the worship missionary to the nations of the world. Welcome back to the Sacred Music series with El Mosi. Alright, uh, this is the episode 5 and I ended episode 4 talking about the fact that your lips must praise God and serve God and not to serve both God and the devil. For even Jesus said that nobody can serve two masters, you cannot serve both God and mammon. Mammon is the spirit of money. And so um, money has become like master, like God, you know. So <clears throat> you cannot serve both God and money. We don't serve, you, you cannot, if you serve money, you are in trouble. But if you serve God, you are, you are safe. <laughs> you know, so don't, don't serve money. Let money serve you. So if you are a minister of the gospel and you are listening to me, listen to me, don't allow money to be ahead of you. Serve God and let money serve you. Okay, serve God and let money serve you. And so I ended by saying that don't be ministering at discos and bars and blah, blah, blah. You know, all those kinds of uh, nasty, filthy places, uh, profane places uh, in the name of getting money. It is very dangerous because you are a sacred musician. Christ lives in you. You, you, are, you, are, you are the temple of the Lord. And so be careful with that. You know, I'm not condemning you, but I'm saying that it's not a good practice for the secular, uh, for the sacred musician to do. But the secular can do that because he is secular already, you know. So um, all our brothers and sisters in the secular, um, I'm believing God that <clears throat> you are also taking some lessons from here. You can also be singing the word of God instead of singing profane, sing the word of God. I prefer you singing the word of God as a secular musician, sing the word of God, sing the word of God, than singing profanity. Profanity is, is not good. It doesn't, it doesn't build a nation. It destroys a nation. So on this note, I want to advise all the secular musicians, don't sing profanity. Don't sing evil. Don't sing riots. Don't sing violence. Don't sing all those kinds of stuff. Sing stuff, good stuff. On this note, I want to bring to your notice that there are three kinds of inspiration for, for, for music ministry or performances. Three kinds of inspiration. We have the satanic inspiration. We have the godly inspiration. And we have the human inspiration. But the human inspiration is in two as well. So I can say with a human inspiration from others and from yourself. From others and from yourself. And so um, at best, listen to me, at best. Because <clears throat> if there is a word that can change lives, the lives of men, it takes the word of God. No, it takes the word of God. It takes the word of the divine to change the life of the human and then and or life on earthly you see so i want to beg of you to sing the right words because this is very very important i would you take this opportunity to take you into song logic very very soon and you will understand what i'm talking about so this is like an introduction to song logic and then from there we'll look at the we we'll look at the voice of worship. I'm going to, I have a lot to share. I have a lot to share. And so I'm trusting and believing God that all secular musicians will take note of this one. Okay. Because whether you are secular or sacred, you were made by God. God made music. God is the originator of music and he did not make music for profanity. He did not make music for, for the devil. He did not make music to destroy lives, but he made music to build lives, you know. You know, to you know, to, to, to make life feel good, to for, for, for life to be good, you know. So make sure you sing well and make sure you are also using the, the godly inspiration for your music, performances, administration. Do it according if you are, if you're composing songs, use the god the godly inspiration. Do it according to the god in, godly inspiration, from the godly inspiration, from the godly inspiration, you know. You see, because um, what is flesh is flesh and when you sow in corruption when you sow in corruption you know when you sow in the flesh you know what you reap when you sow in corruption you know what you reap you know so what is flesh is flesh there are some people even some pastors who stand on the pulpit and say that I am speaking wisdom and when you listen to them it's the wisdom of man it's not the wisdom of God 
we are not in church to listen to the wisdom of men we are not in church to listen to common sense we are in church to listen to the wisdom of god we are in church to listen to the word of god the wisdom of god so if you're a pastor don't be bringing common sense and don't be bringing the wisdom of men to interpret the scripture no you can do that so that is one thing that happens it has also drifted into the music and a lot of secular musicians a lot of sacred musicians are singing something else you know instead of singing the word of god instead of singing the wisdom of god by the inspiration of god they sing other things to promote the devil promote something profane promote some you know it's not good promoting riots and promoting uh, violence and stuff like that but let your music build a nation let your music build a family let your music build god in people that is very very important i want to bring to your notice it is very 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 important and make sure that even if even if god 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 instructs you to go and minister at a disco uh, at uh, make sure you really heard of him then you have the grace and everything to go and be a blessing and to change lives and not that you go to patronize but rather you go to transform and make impact now let me end with this one um, I've, I've served a lot of fathers and grandfathers in ministry and one of the fathers uh, that I've served who is late I'm um, talking about evangelist Raham Bonke the late um, he one you all know the story he went to Nigeria to preach and one time to cut the long story short he went there and then um, um, he went to a place where young guys were dancing and to music and all that drinking and smoking he went there to speak the word of god and up to date that place has become a church and so when you go to such places by the direction of the lord you go there to transform and not to patronize what they do over there so that's what i meant by what i said in the episode four i just wanted to explain some few things and then it to be a blessing to you listen to me the ministration the ministration of the sacred musicians is not from their songs and the many songs but it's from your relationship with christ your relationship with god make sure you build a relationship with the lord as a sacred musician and then you'll be able to make impact and transform lives listen to me listen to me listen to me we are for transformation we are not entertainers we are transformers we are not entertainers we are transformers say this after me i am not an entertainer i am a transformer god bless you much and this is mosi danny down to the worship missionary to the nations of the world i love you all much love to you all bye bye